Bastard. My name is Jordan Dahl. I play Vig Lux, the lead singer of Night Bastard. I am Nate Balding. I play JJ Good, lead Luke Shredder. I'm Roger. I play Relay Fatagan, and I'm lead Gongist. Oh. Gonging all the gongs that you hear. Ow. Gongler? A gongler, in I fact. A gongler. <laughs> I am not the gongler. I am the Skyland Master. My name's Colin. I play all of the other characters in this silly, silly game. Let's get a quick recap of last week to talk about where we were and what we were doing. Uh, the players are on the search for uh, a storied weapon uh, of dragon lore, uh, and they've been brought... Um, to uh, this underground lair where they searched um, below for a little while, uh, came into the second area, fought a water elemental, uh, made their way into uh, yet another area and ran into a fire and an earth elemental uh, after putting everyone down, uh, catching fire a few <laughs> times. We put them uh, down where they were like, fuck you, fuck you, yeah, fuck you've you. got a big nose, you have bad handwriting. They have made their way uh, into uh, another uh, area, past uh, another couple traps, uh, and are now preparing to make their uh, way right. okay. uh, through a hallway that they have uh, just recently encountered. So uh, that brings us up to date quickly, and I ask you, Adventuring Party, what would you like to do next? Oh, uh, well, thank the people who followed us last see, we were while, headed I think. this direction. Foolish I follow. guess we'll keep thank going you. Foolish this direction. Thank you, follow. Thank you folks. Follow. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank for you. Yeah. Oh, this, this is I mean, do we need to rest? Let's look at our character sheets and, and think about life for a moment. <laughs> Take a look here. The good dinosaur. Nah, we, uh, Check that out. We rest <laughs> God fucking damn it. Uh, Huge good dinosaur uh, we, yeah, they didn't hear me. We rested dude, right before. Uh... I ha yeah. I need what? health though, but I'm good on on key points and whatnot. Yeah, I'm good. I'm I'm Where looking. Do you need good. health from? Oh yeah, because we both set off that stupid trap, and you could have just run up the wall. <laughs> you gotta remember, I'm a wall runner. You know, you can do dope dope monk shit. Dope, dope. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, we should be, we, except for those, except for us hitting, getting those lightning attacks, I think everyone should be up All to, right. up to full. <clears throat> well, I think we just keep continuing down. Do you yeah, want to search yeah. for the mushroom rooms anymore? Uh, I don't think, I think so. We already, I think we did that. Yeah, but you could always use more mushrooms. <laughs> I guess that's true. You gotta make that soup. Are you making soup? Mushy, you making soup? Mushy, soup, soup. <laughs> I was thinking. Uh, that's um, not my okay. character. So, uh, I was thinking are about it. Your way, <laughs> are you all making your guys? way in the world today? <laughs> Takes everything you got. It does indeed. Yeah, me and JJ and uh, and Vig keep walking down. Mm -hmm. JJ in front. I'm uh, gonna rejoin with them. Okay. I'll bring my character um, down. Hang on. You're, flap, uh, flap, 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 flap. All right, perfect. So Please you can stop, stop wh where you are. Um, so uh, as uh, as the three of you are walking in, um, you guys get to the places you are. And JJ, as you step on the square that you're stepping on now, um... You and anyone else that is in the hallway, which is all three of you, I need all of you to make a DC 17 con save. Oh, uh, we should be searching for traps. I forgot this is a legendary item. I am flying. Does that matter? Well, uh, it doesn't matter for the con save. You definitely did not uh, trip the trap, I'll but say. But it's still here. But yes, it, the, the trap is still here. It right. was a constitution okay. save? You con should save, that's All right. Well, I'm not using the digital dice anymore. I failed. I love the yeah, digital dice, but I also failed six. We oh, all got a failed. Three. I got a. I got an eight. Have failed. So, 
As uh, as you're coming into this hallway, and, and we spoke about this a little bit uh, the the last time, but there are tapestries on lining these uh, lining these walls. There's oh, yes. three uh, on each side. So there's one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. And as JJ, as you step on the square that you're on, you you feel like a pressure plate, and you cut and you go oh, fuck right away. Uh, and then you hear the sound of what can only be described as like metal starting to creak, uh, and you the the creaking metal kind of comes from above, and you look up, and as you look up, there are these giant arms that are extending out from the middle of the arm oh. to behind the tapestries, and there are these oh. giant mallets. And just all at once, there are six <laughs> giant drums in this hallway that are all just whoop, slammed all at once. And on a fail, you each take six d6 thunder damage. Mm. I don't like that at all. <clears throat> oh my god. Uh, six, 12, 18, 19, 22, 25 points. <gasps> of thunder damage to each of you. Good lord. Um, you are also all stunned for the next round. I need all of you to roll initiative. This wow. is an initiative-based trap. Oh, all right, let's try it one more time, digital dice. That's not bad. I critted. Oh, yeah, let's do that. The one time I probably don't want to go first. Now you get out of the trap first. What did I roll? Not well. Oh, I rolled a one. All right, well, now I need a rest. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. yeah. So settings, uh, descending. Okay, so um, all three of you are stunned for this round, which means you all three make the next save, which goes down. It is a DC 15 con save, but you make it with disadvantage. Ugh. Okie doke. What a bummer. Uh, and a bummer. stunned. Stunned we can't do anything except take the save, right? I mean... Uh, yeah, well, and especially specifically yeah. for this instance, what has happened is the sound and the thunder damage of the drums has all sort of, like, sound knocked you, and you're thunder. all just like, Ugh, and now the next round of drums is going to hit. Um, so your con save is at a disadvantage because- I rolled a crit for my first roll. Dude, me too, for my initiative. And I oh. failed my second. Oh, 50. I assumed I was first, I had a 22. Oh. Yeah, what did you need our initiatives for? Oh, initiatives were for, because if, if some of you don't, so let's say some of you aren't uh, stunned in the next round, then you'll actually be able to go. You'll be able to try and move. Okay, so what, uh, what, what so happened? We're, I rolled so a we're saving again right now. Correct. My dex so is higher, still... so I rolled first. Go ahead. That's fine. I failed. Oh, okay. So but I critted my first again. one. It was a glorious roll. Vig succeeds, and then JJ? Uh, succeeded on one, failed on the other. Okay. So I'm not even sure so, what you need me to do right now. You need constitution oh, saving throws? Con I rolled a 22 yeah. on my initiative. Now you need oh, okay. con saves. You, then you need two yeah, con yeah. saves, yep. Okay. And take the lower of the two. Well, that's probably going to be it. Six. Oof. Okay. So this time is only 4d6. Um, four, six. Wow, that's a low roll. Uh, nine points of Thank thunder fuck. damage. That's a low roll. God. Four d six. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um. Oh, sorry. These are all bludgeoning damage, not thunder damage. If that matters, if that halves it for. Oh, me. it does. I know it. I thought. Actually. It. Apologies. No, that's all right. I just get six hit points back, but that's six okay. I can use. Now, again, this is now even uh, lower, but you are all ro still rolling at disadvantage. Um, this is a uh, 13, DC 13 con save. All You're right. still well, rolling at disadvantage? <clears throat> all right, yeah, I did yeah, it this you time. Haven't, you haven't popped yourself out of the stun.
I rolled a 13. Then Nine, I rolled 13. a 12. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, 19 is yeah. my low roll. Rolled a 19, then rolled a crit. I botched my first one, so. Fuck. I am so bad. So, uh, Roger, you only take three, six, seven, eight. You only take four points of bludgeoning damage. The other Thank two goodness. both take eight. Roger, um, you an additional make... aid? Mm -hmm. No, eight total. Oh, yeah, I it was to nine. The last room. No. Roger only takes four. You guys take eight. So wait, um, when Roger... I remember when I said nine, that's a low hit. We're yeah, taking was, eight as an addition to one. that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, Roger. You now have uh, your turn to try and do something. The other two are both still stunned. Um, All you, right. you may try and do something. I gotta try and get my team out of here. <laughs> so I'm good. I can do everything I, I should be able to do, right? You have a turn. This is essentially like an initiative turn, correct? Okay, good, good. I'm going to... Also, since you're the first person to come out of stun, just make a free perception roll for me. Free perception? Just make a perception roll. It's free, though. Free it perception. Free. It does not cost your action. <laughs> 15. 15, cool. So you can sort of see what's happening right now is uh, above you, there are these mallets that are hitting these drums and they're just going in like a repeat. So it's just this metal bar that is sort of turning and they're... Ooh, it's very disorienting and it's causing damage every round, right? So it's like every six seconds these drums hit. All right, well, I want to use a key point and do step of the wind. Nice. Okay. So now my jump uh, distance is doubled. Uh huh. Nice. And I want to grab JJ if I can and then jump into Vig or whatever and get us out of this hallway. Okay, so you're going to use a key point to use Step of the Wind, which yep. doubles your movement. So you now have 90 feet of movement. You're directly next to Vig. So yes. you can grab him if you'd like to try I wanna and I want to grab JJ and then you. jump into Vig, pushing us over here. Oh, you're going to go backwards? back the way you came? There's a door. Like I'm pretty sure this hallway is the only thing being affected by the trap. I'm I dying. Mean, even next back, turn. The, even back the way we came is better than what's happening now. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, let me. Can yeah. I? Can I? We, we're using that roll. Can I see this door? Is it like something we could crash through in theory? There, there is a door on the other side of this room, right? Like there yeah. is a giant stone door here. It, it, it does look like it's made of stone, that it, it's not like a door that you're going to push through quickly. Okay. Um, but... See, well, I think we just gotta leave the hallway. Backwards is better than sitting here. Yeah. Retreat sounds good. All right, then yeah. I'm gonna try that. So, I'm, I'm moving over got... here. Five feet to get to JJ, grabbing yep. JJ. I want to grab JJ. And five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yep. So with Step of the Wind, you're able to do that. You're able to grab everyone and you're able to make it even all the way back to so that all three of you are Oof. here. Yep. Holy in that shit. Right there. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Vig got caught right in the right in the path of that thing. And he just looks like hamburger meat. He's like barely <laughs> alive. Just oh, oh man, I can't believe all three of you failed on the first one. I was like, somebody will, somebody will <laughs> save on the first one. We and got then, fucking Donkey nope, Kong yeah, and that yeah, shit. You guys got shit on. So, um, what I will say is, as you move out, it is another. Uh, how many rounds was that? Three, right? So three. there are another three rounds of drums. 
um, before this stops. There are six total drums, and there are six total rounds. Uh, oh, starting, the damage starting at the highest, uh, and the con save starting at the highest, and then going down each round. So, uh, okay. Roger, with that move, you saved the other two, a, a possible three other damage rounds within there. Oh, it would have been um, one damage round and then one <laughs> round of killing me. <laughs> yeah, that's one, where I was too, one straight up. Character. Yeah, uh, I think Vig looks around at the other two who are also similarly battered and he, and he comically says, I think I could use that short rest now. <laughs> we could even go longer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, do we <clears throat> will a short rest replenish health? No, yeah, not, the, yeah, not as much as I need. Allow you to use hit dice that, um, and then obviously you can use any like healing potions or anything that you have. Yeah, so short rest well. will restore key points and allow you to use hit dice. We could. I can also. Just so we could use a prayer of healing at a super high. Ooh, level. I mean that would also do it. But what's does anybody the disadvantage of us doing a long rest in the mushroom room? Uh, I don't think there's any disadvantage to it. Attack possible, possible attack. Well, but I'm into it. Attack. If you guys are both into it, I mean, there's a trap over here. So if anybody tries to come from this way, we're gonna at least hear it. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> And this room is just one way only to where if they do shut off the trap, they can only come in this one way. So, right. I'll get okay. first watch and then you guys get second and third. All right, DM, I think we're going to take a, a long rest in the mushroom room. Can long I look rest. around and see if this mushroom room is a suitable place for a long rest? Yeah, I mean, uh, make an the, check. Actually, make a survival the, check, I'm sorry. I will. Oh, you know what? I think I have really good survival. Go for it. I will aid JJ. Aid him. Roll survival oh, with well. advantage. Oh. If it's better than zero, it's better than mine. Uh, all right. Well, it's still not great. I have a plus five, but I rolled an eight, so. 13. 13. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's dirty. Um, but, uh, you, you have sort of already figured out, man, there's a giant drum trap on one side, there's yeah. an electricity trap on the other, we're in a room that, like, we can seal off the one entrance to, um, you know, if you're, if you're gonna long rest, there's, uh, there's probably not much a better room to do it in than this one right here. Yeah, we're night bastard. We know we know from gritty places to sleep. I've slept in alleys that are worse than this. <laughs> One time I slept in an ashtray outside of London. <sighs> All right. Well, for the sake of expedience, I will say uh, there are traps on both sides of you. Uh, you don't even need to roll. You're, you, you can complete your long rest and your watches. Uh, nothing comes to get you in the night. All right, let me get my hit points back. Take your long rest. Um, 17 um... hit points for me. <laughs> what were you How many doing? hit points do you have? 63. Okay. Hey, Jordan was in trouble. But I started that with 55, truly. Oh, right. From the, the thunder trap zapped me real good. Why did good. you max 67? It's lying to you. Oh, no, that's JJ. Uh, that's mean. Mine. <laughs> it's mean. Yes, go ahead. Take your long rest. All right. Score your points. Then it was only. I'm going out here. We're we're investigating. Roger. Long at rest <laughs> replenishes full HP. I yep. I got it. Oh, you just said you get 17 back. I didn't mean to. What I meant is something else entirely so uh yes roger um you may investigate or aren't are, isn't vig the investigation man with his goggles 
Yeah, I woke uh, up from like sleeping, yeah. leaning leaning against the wall. It's very cool. And he is wearing the shades. He's got a cigarette in his mouth, but he's actively smoking. But you hear him snoring. <laughs> um. He goes, oh, oh, all right, yeah. Like Patsy from Ab Fab. Exactly. <laughs> um. And he like um. He like taps these shades that he has, and kind of some runes light up on them. And I'll give it a little investigation, a little investigator Roo. Go ahead. 17. Nice. 17. Yeah, so with a 17, um, you uh, would definitely know, obviously, that there, I mean, JJ would have told you, hey, I, I know I stepped on something. Um, so you're looking... We're looking for pressure plates. Yes, exactly. Uh, and so with a 17, you would be able to see in uh, here. I'll sort of show you. Ooh. Um... <clears throat> oh, shit. Uh, uh, could we potentially destroy the drums as well? Mm. So or these are do the that. pressure plates. Um, Not for any of this. Uh, so with your 17, you're able to see, okay, these are the places in the floor that if we step, will trigger the drums. Okay, I am going to, on that same turn, fly into the air. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And uh, try to try to go through. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, you're able to you're able to fly through very easily. What's on the other side? Dude, um, that's so something man it, it, has there's never a answered. stone door right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a stone door right here. Stone door at the end of the hallway right there. Yep. <laughs> I call back to the others. I'm like, it's a door, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hover there actually, and I'm gonna try the door. No, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna holler. I'm gonna holler back. Check for traps. <laughs> I'm going to investigate the door. Absolutely. Make an investigation check. Catch us in two traps. Shame on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. It's not like that. I got a 19. Uh, 19. Uh, the door does not appear to be trapped. Okay. Is it locked? The door is locked. Locked. Um, I'm gonna look around. <laughs> I'm. I would like to look around for a way to disengage the trap, a la Bloodborne. Sure. Yeah. Um. Roll an investigation check. Okay. Boy, these investigation checks. None of them are coming up real tight. It's a fifteen. Damn, I rolled two fifteen two times. Bro. Wow. crazy um yeah so i mean again what essentially what you have is above you you have this giant like metal bar and these drums are connected to it in the middle so you have this like these metal bars that are coming over each of the tapestries sort of covers like if you were to go over uh to like right here and lift up uh. the trap the tapestry all you'd see is like a big empty space with like a smooth surface above it because these drums are gigantic and these beaters just come down it's sort of it's almost like a like a a, a clockwork where like once I, it starts it just starts and like each beater just boom six seconds okay. boom it's just a, a trap that once it triggers it just goes i'm going to use prestidigitation to mark each of these uh spaces nice um with sweet fucking hellish runes, heavy Absolutely. metal runes. Uh, and I'll be like, all right, gents, come on over, over. Don't step on the hellish runes, the radical hellish runes. And that one's a dragon smoking a joint. I step over it. <laughs> Yeah, so now that you guys can see these, it's pretty simple. You can, yeah, you can move diagonally. You can kind of, there is a, a path for you to be able to move and avoid uh, setting off these traps. Uh, 
We don't have anything to pick this lock, do we? We don't even know what type of lock it is. No, yeah. we, we don't. We know nothing of the lock. That's... Sorry. <clears throat> we know nothing of the lock. That's sort of why I invited you lot over. Well, let's fucking bash it open. Uh, da, da, da. well, <clears throat> I do have a crowbar. Can we try and like <laughs> try this <laughs> bitch open? Have a crowbar. I don't know. I threw it in my inventory when we were during character creation. I guess. I Make that. Had it in the trunk. What's the problem? <laughs> Make an investigation check uh, on the door. Um. But why oh, we're wait, using you, you a crowbar? Already... Let's roll strength. <laughs> well, well, I mean, the on, crowbar on, only on. applies if we can, like, get it in there. Let's, you were uh... investigating the trap, and then, yeah. Fair, fair, fair. So investigate the door. Okay, that's a 21. Let's go for the crit. I nailed it. That's 26. Uh, crit 26. Crit Tight. So, um, you're, as you're looking at this door, you know, JJ's like, I've got this crowbar. What do I do with it? And, and you're looking at the door, and you're like, man... I don't understand how this door opens. It seems like a full, like solid piece of stone. But then you keep looking at it and you and you you start to and you're like, wait a minute, this seems like really dirty. And you start to like clean the door off. You start to like move things off of the door. And as you do that, uh, maybe even using prestidigitation to, to wash some stuff away. Oh, you, you know. find in the very middle of the door, there is uh, a, like a small relief, a small bronze dragon relief. Um, and in the middle of that like bronze dragon relief, the mouth is just sort of open and there's a small little area in like in that mouth uh, that, that just seems to be open. Oh, wow. Put, uh, spit in the dragon's mouth. Put your, <laughs> put your dick in it. I will not put my <laughs> dick in it. I am not going to be the one. Not this time. Um, does it look like a keyhole? Does it look like something goes in there? It looks like a dick hole. <laughs> it, yeah, I, you, you can't. It doesn't look like a, a key exactly, but you can't. You can't really place it, even with a crit. You know for sure it's not a, your it's dragon not a key, lance. But you're not. But you're like, what the fuck is it? Like this I don't all, understand. This all what still goes. supports the dick theory. The dick uh, theory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm gonna take my rapier and kind of poke it into the hole. <laughs> into the okay. Yeah. So symbolically, uh, you sort of like move it around a little bit uh and then uh, these teeth come out and bite the tip off no i'm just kidding uh Good nothing Lord. happens <laughs> god <laughs> i'm gonna i look down at it i point it out to the others and i'm like w what's that what is that uh uh looks looks like a keyhole man tip right. does anybody know how to pick a lock is there a keyhole in there it's not a keyhole. I'll tell you because you rolled a crit. It's definitely not a key. But what okay. is it? Uh, do we need to do like uh, like we did with those statues in the sewer? Like we match do element something on it? in there. <clears throat> what yeah, is... yeah, yeah. We we have been battling elementals this entire time, also. So tell me about tell me about this relief. Mm-hmm. What is it? Uh. You rolled a crit, so I will tell you it is definitely a bronze dragon relief. Okay. There's a relief of a bronze dragon. Okay, so let's do... It's made of bronze. And we know that bronze dragon... Yeah, this is the this is something I should know. Shoot something you definitely know. Uh, what's the weakness? I, I'm trying to find it, but what's the weakness of the... or the... Roll history. Thank you. The, the breath of... Oh, monk. I'm on the wrong thing. Roll history, you monk. I can't Monster. find my character sheet. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Here we are. <laughs> Digital dice! I failed. <laughs> yeah, I mean... 
you're like you, you it's it's uh, true to life you're like i can't wait i should know this what you think the bronze do you think it was acid i think it was acid am i a bronze dragon do you uh, no, I'm I'm a black dragon. I do the acid. You're black. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you do acid. Oh, uh, um, I don't I don't think any of the metallic dragons are gonna use acid because it's more like is it they, lightning? They, they, it's it's gonna be yeah like fire or lightning. Can or I roll a history? I will tell frost. you uh, that uh, your grandfather Redismal Otholeth, a copper dragon, has acid breath as well. Um, so acid is not, you would know that it's not acid because acid is your family. That's like what your family specifically um, that whole deal. May I roll a history for this? You may. Well, I blew it. <laughs> I'll roll a history too. Do it. Come on. Roll a I'll allow 12 it. minus two. Oh. A ten, <laughs> huh? You know uh, what? I will say yeah, yeah, a yeah, ten. I'm a yeah. dummy. Yeah. There's no yeah. way that I would know anything about dragons. <laughs> oh, we have bardic inspiration. All right. Uh, I'm gonna All right, give let's myself. Let's play a song for each other. Let's jam. Yeah, we know. start. We start playing a song. And we sing uh, the ancient song of the dragons that we wrote, and uh, it, we each give each other bardic inspiration, and we roll again. Go ahead. <laughs> we demand will... it. Hope that oh! Roger, there you go. I'm saving it. I'm saving my bardic inspiration, and I sing in the <laughs> middle of this song. It. I say, <laughs> and the bronze dragon's breath was made of what? Lightning. Lightning. Nah. And uh, <laughs> I fucking with that, I cast a small spell. All right. Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna cast, uh, let's say it's, uh, let's say it's Chill Touch, and a, a hand made of black oh, lightning man. appears out of nowhere and presses its finger into this hole. No, it wouldn't come up. Is it dick-shaped lightning? It, it is dick-shaped lightning, of course. <laughs> dick-shaped lightning. Of course. Uh, and I'm gonna use, what is it? Twin spell? Something spell to change the type to lightning. You got it. Here it is. Transmuted spell. Perfect. So, uh, with that, uh, the uh, lightning is absorbed into the relief, uh, and as that happens, the giant stone door begins to lift up uh, into uh, the ceiling, revealing uh, a large room ahead yes. of you. Uh, wicked! Uh, 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 everybody remember lining for bronze strike. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, I, I think we weren't this supposed room. to see those. Nope, you are. Oh, good okay. Lord. And the Power Rangers are. In um. Here. Yeah, you, you <laughs> are able to see these. You walk into this room, um, and uh, for shits and giggles, make a perception check. All. Oh. Okay. Okay. I got a 27. 16. Nice. A 20. Yeah, so you all walk in. Uh, it's pretty easy. There are eight pedestals in, in this room. Um, there is uh, a, a back wall that looks to be completely closed off. So um, this back area uh, is, is completely caved in. Uh, so this is, is a room that has no exit from what you can tell. Um, and there are uh, eight pedestals and eight skulls sitting on each uh, of the eight pedestals. Oh. Uh, each skull is a different color. Oh, all right, some sort and of skull are... museum. 
represented uh, by the colors that you see. I got some skulls. Right. I decided well, to use them. <laughs> I'm going to grab the yellow skull and see what happens. Wait, wait. Take off your gloves. Touch it with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> you would, yeah, you wouldn't want to do anything stupid. <laughs> no, I stop him. We're like, wait, let's investigate further. Okay. All right. And oh, I'm move... getting that yellow skull, man. <laughs> it's <laughs> yours. It's yours. Specifically to the yellow skull, and I guess I'll try to investigate. Sure, make an investigation check. A 14, specifically like oh. the pedestal that it's on, like just really searching out the area around this yellow skull. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there doesn't seem to be anything specific about the yellow skull. Um, you can see that like by investigating though that each of these pedestals is sort of made for a skull to go on. Um, they, they only kind of fit on one way. Um, uh, and you can also sort of tell that, like, the yellow one is not in the right spot. All right, I okay. say that to them. I go, guys, this seems to be the pedestal for a, a skull, but not this yellow skull. I think they have to be reordered. Which one is it for? I, I, I don't know. You know? Um, like, I can't like, remember. Hang on, did, I'm gonna uh, take a look. Did did Vid tell us about the vision of the black skull guy? I believe he did. I think Vig is was pretty open about his vision, uh, specifically uh, that uh, the the person whispered into the that last he person should to be touch the it or one. whatever. He should yeah. be the one to place the black skull last. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I did All tell right. you guys well, that. Um, <laughs> I'm a fool. I'm gonna. Let's, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna be drawn inexplicably take, to the black skull. Let's knock all these skulls off the pedestals, and one by one, we'll test them until they fit, or they seem to fit where the, wherever they're supposed to go. Seems like a good plan. Truly. Just brute we'll brute force this thing. Brute force the puzzle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, We're uh, gonna collect all, all the skulls in a pile. <laughs> <laughs> now, As hang on. Take... Hang on. We're gonna take one skull first. Okay. You take one skull off. The Nothing yellow happens. skull. Okay. Great. Okay. Yellow skull. skull. We, yes. We readily take the rest of the skulls off one by one. Okay. You take the second skull off. Nothing happens. Uh, if you attempt to take a third skull off. Mm. Uh, you are all three hit, uh, make a, uh, DC 16 dex save. Oh, I see. We can only move two at a time. Oh. Oh, bugger. All right. Well, that you ain't have bardic gonna inspiration. Help. Wait a minute. Back all of you do. Oh, oh I do have bardic is, inspiration. You're right. That is a fact. 13. Oh, Come just on, you fucker. Nice. Good for you, Jordan saves. I back you. Out I, of the way. I did not. Okay. I, I turned so, into bats uh, real quick. Total was five, ten, twelve points of lightning Good Lord. damage. Um, oh, half shit. of that for those who saved. Uh, oh fuck! Um, How much was it all together? Shit, six. Okay. And as you try if to take saved. the the third one, right? So if if uh, Relay grabbed the purple one and JJ grabbed the yellow one, as Vig tries to grab the black one, um, you... Well, I think it was shot. JJ. JJ grabbed the skull. Either way, it, it doesn't matter who put... Wh whoever touched Whatever the is. third one, you yeah, all get yeah. shocked. Uh, the, the, then two of you have skulls in your hand. All right, okay. so let's put them back, and we'll just do this thing. We'll take one skull, and then we'll pull one, test it, pull the next, test it, pull the next, test it, you know? Right. So no, only ever two. So your last plan was pretty bad, man. I've got to say, it wasn't bad. We just didn't it's a know great we could plan. only We two. didn't know it was gonna <laughs> blow up at level three. All right, all right. My my mistake. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. I'm still feeling. I mean, cr cranky how else do you want to engineer this puzzle? 
Look, I, I suppose I was just throwing you a little bit of shit because I got electrocuted by a skull. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have taken it out on you, even though you are the most evil one. Yeah, we uh, <clears throat> we do that, though. We we take the yellow skull. I take the purple skull off. Yeah. He tries to put the purple no, no, skull let's, on mine. Let's not, let's not do that. We do uh, okay. it's one. So we'll just uh, we'll start at the top. We'll take the orange ish skull the the orange cream looking one <laughs> then we'll go to the yellow pull the yellow check that pedestal if it fits it fits if not put the yellow back then go to gotcha. blue check it on just a sec. put it back interesting i, I see totally it. follow yep yeah so that there's only ever two skulls yeah, that makes sense. off the pedestal at any time i mean honestly that you know it's it would take it would take like no longer than an hour to do something like that with all yeah of them. unless there's an inscription yeah. we can find to clue us in that is yeah the best can way. we can we look at the pedestals themselves and see if there is some sort of uh rune indication of a color search i go i didn't see any writing <laughs> each one each one is flavored differently. Each one has a different. <laughs> yeah. Each one has a different scent, like those markers. Oh, green apple. Um, what am I doing? Make, Perception. Make no investigation. Okay. Oh, you fucker! One more. Hang on. One more again. Ah, ha, ha, eleven. Bardic inspiration. <laughs> Hang on. You want to give me bardic inspiration? I'll allow it. Go ahead. No, I can do. I can do a thing. I have a feature. Hang on. So I got 11. Um, come on, where are you? Magical Guidance. When you make an ability check that fails, you can spend one sorcery point to re-roll the d20. And you must use the new roll, potentially turning a failure into a success. Um, now my question is, I have... You also add Bardic Inspiration to that. No, no, my question is I have advantage on investigation, do I only roll once, or do uh, I roll? The, yes, do I take the check again? Your, yeah, okay. you're only getting to roll your. Okay. Critted. Holy shit! Incredible. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, oh my god, uh, it's kind of tough. Uh, there are, um, there are, like, words that send you from one side to the other, uh, and then you realize that they're all sort of trying to mix you up, um, that, like, it's trying to, to tell you, and you realize that there's a placard on the very far wall that, oh. like, you didn't see at first because it's buried by some boulders that fell in on this area. Oh. Um, and, uh, the placard, um, uh, reads, you may only move two skulls at a time. You may right. only move a skull across one space or over a space. So, you, so you can only move, it, like, across the room or, or over mm. by one space. You must put at least one skull in its correct position each turn or be punished. And there are a limited number of turns before extreme punishment. Oh, God. To continue unharmed, you must place the skulls in their elemental order. Oh, that wow. Well, I'm not going to lie, guys. I forgot most of my education. <laughs> so um yeah i don't know uh geez. what i focusing would on monk shit. the colors what about roy g biv red orange red orange yellow, yellow green Bitter blue bin. indigo violet black last for some reason. And you and have I, to place it. And I should place it. Uh, I think that's the best working theory right now. Right. Is Let's... Roy G. Biv canon in D&D 5e? <laughs> <laughs> in the world? This ain't, do they, this is my world, well, dog. Do they teach kids about so... this in New Sunito? Yeah. <laughs> So is it? Uh, you can make a history check if you'd like, Roger. 
Yeah, I will. So just in case. To maybe it is so skulls, if it is something that simple. So the skulls can move either one to one to the side or across. Correct. All right. So I, then it wouldn't I, be Roy G. Biv because red would have to go diagonally. Mm. Oh, okay. So we're pl okay. I see. Also, I didn't do good on that history check. Well, unless we move it backwards, you know. So yellow would have to go on the orange, the purple, or the red one. Yeah. And we have, and it has to be correct every round. At least one skull so has one to be placed in its correct position each round. Okay. So like theoretically, the something orange. could. So we could right. swap. We could swap. So what is it? Up and down or left and right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we could swap green and orange, which would put orange in the correct spot. Then swap. Maybe. Then swap red, orange. Oh, that would that would actually put. Well, hang on, hang on. I think the, I think the point. What, what are we considering correct? Is this the All starting right. point? Yes. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I, I thought we could only move them once. But yeah, if we can move them more than one time, then yeah, yeah that works out. Absolutely. Okay, so red can go up one and then to the left. So, oh, okay. Yeah, and, I and, see. And, and you can move. You can move two, right? So like, it's kind of weird because you can pick up two and then and and you know. Well, here's the thing. Okay, so that yeah, would make yeah, the yellow already in the third spot, and it is not in the correct spot. Oh, that is true. So that from is true. From that from that crit on uh, on investigating these pedestals, can I determine mm -hmm. which one is supposed to be the first and which is the last? Oh, um, well then we can build from there because we know the black's the last one. Yeah. For example. Yeah, I will say um, that because uh, the the way that like you got to this platelet is like all that there's little plates on all of them that are trying to confuse you, uh -huh. um, and you sort of figured out that like these are these clues are are sort of misleading right. you. Uh -huh. um, you wouldn't you, you would it would make sense to you that you would enter the room, and uh -huh. that your starting point would be mm -hmm. here. And that your ending point would be here. Okay, so that it goes I, around in a circle. I think that they would go like this. So if oh, they went, okay. if they went, so if we swapped, say, these two. Oops, I can't. I can't move the green one. Oh shit! Sorry. No, no. What about this? There you go. Hmm. I'm going through yeah. my villain arc. Let's just take two skulls and sell them. So... <laughs> all right, all right. Does anybody mind if I try something? Try... Go ahead. I step outside of the room, shout in, go for <laughs> it. Good call. <laughs> Fuck. Hang on, that's not going to do, is it? But we know it goes in a in, in a in right, a cribbage right. board. This form, this basically I guess. needs to be red, I think. Let's try it. But we don't necessarily need to place it first, you know. Right. Green. But so it'd be red, would, uh... orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Okay, so like say. Or a strick in my head, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it says that they're supposed to be in an elemental order. Right, right. I, so, I don't know if that necessarily is the the prism. Hmm. Uh, what are the what are the little platelets that are meant to confuse us? Say. Yeah. What's just, the one in um, front of the no. green one say? Yeah, that re they're they're they essentially have colors on them. Um, so it's saying like green versus black. Um, 
yellow versus blue. Like there are little, and you sort of, the, the reason you figure it out is that some of these skulls are in those placements already. So gotcha. you're like, wait a minute, if that's correct, then this shouldn't be, uh, and you get the feeling that this has been, that this that this particular trap has been tried before and failed by other people. Okay, well, can we isolate the ones that appear to be in the correct position? Um, I'll say with Jordan's uh, crit, uh, I will tell you that none of these skulls are currently in their correct positions. Gotcha. Hmm. Not even this one? <laughs> Not even what one? This, this one? Uh, not even this one. Not even. Come on. All right, so we can move with them. Well, it has to be uh, correct each time. I mean, we can check red and green, and let's see if red fits. We swap red and green. You swap red and green. Yes. Uh, as you place the red one, um, it sort of glows a little bit, and you get an indication that you have placed a skull in its correct position. Okay. We did it. Right. Okay, so it probably is the prismatic. Well, let's see if this one, if we can get this one to be orange, but that would mean that these ones, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Well, like he said, we can move, we can move. Two, well, wait. And we go violet, so like. So we could. Two can be two can be picked up and moved at any given time. Um, oh, one right. has to be placed correctly. So you're essentially swapping skulls, and one has to be correct. So right. let's now switch. So we, uh, so we could green just and switch. Green and orange? Can we switch green and orange? You absolutely can, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So they don't have to be moving we'll one that. thing at a time. We'll do that. Correct. Orange. Yeah, you don't have to, they're they're not like, they're not, when, when it says, and I, I read, as I read this, I like, it's, you, they can only move one space, but not, it doesn't have to be like right next to where they were or right across uh, from where I they understand. were. Right? Like you can exchange okay. them, okay, right? Uh, okay. How's this? So you swapped, wait, you swapped yellow and... Okay. Then green was correct in that round. Okay, your blue was correct in that round. And then... And then we swap... Blue, these... indigo, violet, and then and these black. two, and I placed okay. the black skull. Um... As you do that... You all need to make another DC uh, 16 deck save. Shit. Are you sure I'm outside the room? No, I'm joking. You <laughs> 16 deck save. Oh, baby. 16 exactly. My blood. We got a 16 exactly. Okay. Uh, Jordan, you take nine. Yeah. Um, the rest of you take four points. Yeah. Of Lightning damage. Uh -huh. Ah, fuck. Sorry. And, Sorry. And also, these two, they go back to where they were. The, like, lightning, like, pulls the skulls back. Which so one? this one. These two. Okay. I go, uh, sorry, sorry, fuck. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna okay. swap. I'm gonna swap. You got your purples confused. These two? Okay. Uh, if, that locks in the purple, right? And then I'm gonna swap the black and the and the oh, pink. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Um, as you do, uh, you place the uh, indigo in its proper position. It locks in and glows, and then the black one. You slowly walk over uh, and place the black one in, and as you do, it glows all eight of the skulls begin to sort of spin uh, with this glowing, uh, like, crystal light. I don't um, like this. <laughs> oh, dude, some sort of funky ritual. 
<laughs> and then uh, from this area in uh, the uh, boulders sort of start to fall and uh, coming up from the little pedestal that had the like inscription on it is this crystal blade. Um, <laughs> It, it does not, uh, it, it's not connected to a hilt. It's just sticking out of the top of this like little pedestal thing, but it, you can tell it's like glowing and, and pulsing um, uh, inside of it. And, and it looks like, it, it looks like a sword's blade um, made, made out of a crystal. Um, and, uh, and Jordan, as, as you approach it, you hear uh, that voice in your head again, and it almost hurts. It, it, it like it starts with like a really high pitched whine, like, oh, and then he sort. It, it comes to you again and says, "Find the hilt. Find the hilt." Who said? Who's who's trying to babadook me? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, uh, can I take a closer look at this this crystal blade before picking it up with my bare hand? Uh-huh, yeah, totally. By the way, crystal blade is going to be a song on the next record. Yellow Absolutely. Skull is going to be on there. Absolutely. Find the hilt. Find the hilt. <laughs> find the hilt. Yeah, find the hilt is going to be a two-minute instrumental. Hell yeah. <laughs> 19 investigation on the crystal blade. Yeah, um, it... It looks, it looks like a sword blade. Uh, okay. it, it looks like a blade um, that that absolutely, if you had a hilt, um, right. would be. Um, it, it also, uh, what was your, what was the roll on there? 19? 19. It, it uh, you don't have a lot of, uh, of experience with dragons, but mm. you're like, this, this, this looks like a crystal dragon horn. Like Shit. this looks like it's more than just a crystal blade. Like this seems like it's a, a, a very special crystal blade. I pick it up. Yeah, absolutely. You, you pick it up, nothing happens. You, you are now in possession of uh, a, a crystal blade. The crystal blade. I'm going to put it in a, uh, a secondary sheath that I had just for such an occasion. We could put it in the bag of holding. Oh, I'll hold on to this one. We don't put <laughs> anything in the bag of holding. Why do we even have True. this bag? Well, Look, we climb someday, in there sometimes when it's cold. <laughs> someday, the meaning of the bag of holding will become clear. But for now, and he slides it into this empty sheath on his hip. I was wondering why you had you that special that empty sentence? sheath. I said the empty sheath on his hip. But you just said, but for now. I don't think Oh, I, I see. I thought the character said, but for now. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not so, as it turns out. So, you're all sort of in this room. You figured out the rainbow skull trap. Where are you going next? Uh, we're gonna go to the Rainbow Skull Trap. It's a gay bar town. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just gonna dance our feelings away. Hell oh, yeah. The, uh, admittedly, the drum trap was uh, something I got out of a book that was really good. Um, the uh, the Rainbow Skull Trap was uh, something that my daughter and I came up with. So it's really good. I was gonna say awesome. great. I was gonna say great trap. Also, yeah. the thing the thing is about D and D traps is like. <laughs> people are much stupider than we give them credit for because of television. <laughs> we're like, people can solve any riddle, but then when faced with one, we're just like, I don't know. I don't fucking know. know. <laughs> what is I this bullshit? Well, so, no, we solved it. I, I thought we that did. we could only move them one space, and it seemed like yeah. a little obtuse uh, oh, yeah. when yeah, I was like, oh, if I can only go one up or one down, then 
That yeah. doesn't make any sense. And, and, and we got it ultimately. So, and I was going to say congratulations on uh, yeah, measuring measuring the exact level of <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> our intelligence, of our stupidity, of our intelligence, <laughs> or stupidity. Is this a, is this an entrance thereof. over here? It's not. No. Okay. The, the 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 wall is cut off right there. You're sort of you're sort of at the end uh, of of this level. Um, it, it, I mean. If you zoom out on the map, I, I will say there there is space, not to tell you where to go, but there is space unexplored yeah. at the bottom uh, of this area, near where you came in. So there are three levels to this quote-unquote dungeon that you're in. You're currently at the top level, where it looks like there is no other exit. Um, there is the second level where, like, the river goes this yeah, way. There is, there is definitely there still more. Bottom level, yeah, absolutely. Down there. there, there are. Well, should we go back to Mama's? <laughs> no, no, no. We should go back down one level uh, where there's so more shit to look at. I think. Uh, I turn to the others and I'm like, I think we press on. I have a strong urge to find the hilt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I don't know why I said it like that, but I do feel like I could really find the hill. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, you got a real drive in you now. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I was feeling normal, and all of a sudden, I could just—I could really find the hill. <laughs> you get it. You get it. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's go the, down to the, the first bin. level. Yeah. Okay. Great. Proceeding. Let's fucking head back. So cautiously, Every, everything is trapped as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure. trapped. You're trapped. This is trapped. That's trapped. Yeah, you, you've been through Quigo a lot of comes it. back. He's trapped. I will, I, I will uh, allow you guys to sort of move just down to where you haven't explored yet over here, um, and then uh, I will start to reveal some stuff for you guys. Take it off. I found pottery. Yes, there is a hallway. You love pottery. Bahamut was a potter. Is that true? <laughs> Good. Good Not thing. a carpenter, but a potter. Obama was a carpenter. Uh, this uh, area. Oh, oh no, I fucked up. Uh, you can sort of see, uh, kind of opens up. There are these large pillars. Uh, these large stone pillars that are holding up this giant area that is like behind this waterfall you can see there's uh, a little bit of water uh in this area here you know what would have been better is mm -hmm. oh Bahamut mm -hmm. was a pot maker <laughs> well um, we'll do Bahamut the pot maker redo on the <laughs> next album redo remix <laughs> near 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 this area opens up. Uh, you can see these uh, light up mushrooms uh, and this area right here, um, right in the middle. You can sort of see here. Um, yeah, these, uh, as I said, there's some water coming in here, these giant uh, stone areas. Uh, you also notice there's like a little cave area over to uh, the right over here. Um, yeah, and this is uh, this is the uh, the last the last area that you have not explored. Well, I look out in there and I go, "What the uh, hell?" H e double um, hockey sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is there? <laughs> Can I, I perceive know. what this corpse is from this distance? Um. Yeah, I mean, uh, you have to get a little bit closer, but you can sort of see there are some candles that are around it. They do appear uh, to be like magic candles um, that are sort of lighting it up. Uh, this, this, the, the corpse you see, um, 
Make a yeah, make a make an investigation check. I'll give I you investigate two from here. poorly. I I Very don't poorly. see much. You can't you know? see much. You you see that there's like a what appears to be a dead guy laying here, oh. and then a large like silhouette behind him, but you can't really make out what it is. Guys, there's a body and a large silhouette behind that body. I can't make it out. Uh, what? And I'm going to peek around three uh, stages style, and I will also investigate. Okay. All right. Coming up to, like, where they are? Yeah. Okay. 17. Cool. So, yeah, with, uh, with a 17, you, um, you kind of fly up. Uh, over uh, near where they are um, and uh, you can see you can definitely see the the body um, but from your higher area you can also see what looks like the casing of a of a bronze dragon like if a bronze dragon could take off its shell like Whoa. a like a spider does. Whoa. Um, like a like molt. Like if a bronze dragon molted, yeah. what you see curled up behind this this man is is like the shell of a wow. bronze dragon. Crazy. How, how big is it? It's uh it it I wouldn't call it like an adult. Um uh, or uh, I wouldn't call it like a, an ancient bronze dragon. It isn't gargantuan, um, but it is very big. Uh, I, if I had to give it a size, I would say it is huge. Whoa. Okay. Okay. And it definitely is not alive. <laughs> Does it not? It doesn't appear alive? Does not appear alive? I say that to All them. Right. I'm like, it doesn't look like it. Well, I'm going to approach uncautiously. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, you approach uncautiously, and, and as you do, uh, the the uh, sword glowing from Vig Sheath, Whoa. the light begins to just illuminate, illuminate, and as it does, What's this uh, giant, um, this huge uh creature that is that is sitting there, um, you, you just see within the bronze fire uh it just Whoa. lights the entire thing um and this bronze dragon is now lit from within like a shell of a bronze dragon Yikes. fire exudes from all of it it has giant fiery wings and it looks directly at the glowing sword uh on you on on your back fig uh and i need everyone to roll initiative well, Whoa. well, well, well. Mm -hmm. Come on, initiative, <laughs> baby. God damn it. Time. That's two times I've rolled initiative in this game. Both times I've rolled a one. Good lord. <laughs> it's okay. You are the slow and steady yeah. storm. You are the quiet rage of the hurricane. Quiet rage. You know how yeah, hurricanes are quiet? Cleric last is not always the worst thing. Man. Cleric last is kind of a good thing. I am the roar of the engine of Eric Adams of Manowar's motorcycle. Vroom, vroom. Uh, so where's uh, everybody going? Yes. 3, 16, uh, and 22. I got a 16. Uh, yep, 16. I love, I love Bahamut 316. It's my... <laughs> it is, so, it is I, good scripture. It's a good one. This will bring big a up banger. Front. Whoa! All right. Wait, I rolled a thirteen. Is that true? Oh shit! No, see, I had you for a twenty-two. Sorry. Ah. How no, that... he had a twenty-two now, the whole time. That will Never bring lie. up relay <laughs> up first. I cannot right. tell a lie. I'm amazed by this creature brought Marvel. into existence for sure. I muster my my constitution and I I don't know fucking attack it. Yeah, attack it, man. I'm trying to think of what else I could do, but really that's just I'm gonna go 
fighting. Whip some magic darts at it. Not yet, little one. <laughs> I bring out the flame tongue uh, short sword. I use a bonus action to one. say YOLO and activate Yola. it. Yola, la, 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 la. And now I strike it. Indeed. For a strike. 22 to hit and a what? 21 to hit. Excellent. Remember that guy? I do. Remember that Russian thing? I surely do. Russian plant. All right, let me roll the second one and then go to roll 20 because it doesn't show up right in mine. 31 total damage. Yes. 21 wow, total damage. Two. Now 31 because your first one was oh, yes. 11. Oh, yeah. Did you roll 11 twice? No, I rolled a, an 11 and a 21, I guess. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so that 32. Now there we're talking. Go. Now we're talking, Greasy Grandpa. If it's not resistant to fire. It incredibly is not resistant to fire. Wow. I don't know. Yeah. Right. See, it's probably yeah, electrical right? fire. Because <laughs> of the copper. So those are your uh, first uh, Yes, hit. the copper wiring. Yeah, that's it, because I'm done with bonus action. I'm going to stay in melee range. And I shout out, the fire worked. Well, you have two attacks, right? So you haven't, technically, you haven't done a bonus action yet. The, yeah, I the, guess. The YOLO is a bonus word to oh, activate the, the sword. Oh, bonus. I got it, got it. I forgot the you YOLO. Sorry. My bad, okay. my bad. Trying to give you more hits. Okay, then if that is your turn, then it is now the turn of this creature. Um, this know, creature uh, is going to... This creature is going to use uh, a thing called Sapping Presence. I need everyone within 60 feet of it, which is everyone, to make a DC 17 Wisdom saving throw. All right, this is Wisdom. magic, yes. I've been saving that up for no reason, I thought. Sorry? It is. Okay, cool. Wow. 16, I forgot what the number need. was. 21. What, you need. Oh. what is it, wisdom? Correct, wisdom save. Is this fire? What? Is it no. fire no damage? Wisdom. I rolled 18. There's technically no damage. Okay. So, um, Roger, uh, your speed is now halved, <gasps> and you have disadvantage on attack rolls until the end of your next turn. Wait. On a successful save, that's the other two of you, you are immune to the sapping presence for 24 hours. So, oh. uh, essentially, because oh. you saved on the first one, uh, you cannot be affected by his sapping presence again. Yeah, suck the sap. Boom. Fuck it. Roger, however, your speed is halved and all of your uh, attack rolls have disadvantage until the end of your next turn. That's fine. Uh, and you are not immune to his sapping presence. So if he tries it again, you'll have to make the save again. I like it. And you can't sit at lunch um, with us. Oh, that, that hurts. Is, this table's just for is, people who are immune to it. That is his turn. Uh, it's going to bring up Vig. Vig, Vig, sure? Vig. You sure? That is his turn, right. Um, okay, okay. He's so scary. Oh, I oh, fuck him. face. You got a face that looks like fuck. Um, so he's so cool, though. He is cool. Very cool. Um, <coughs> okay, what shall we do with a drunken dragon? What shall we do with the drunken dragon? What shall we do with the drunken dragon? technically called a hollow dragon don't look it up while you're fighting it but when you're done <laughs> and for those watching if you'd like to look at the stat She's block, you look it up have fun lock, use it in your D, &D game a little bit 
Uh, I've adjusted it for for our three person uh, fight, but uh, I understand. it's mostly the basis of a hollow dragon. I understand. Which what a cool um, name for a giant metal dragon. Fuck that's yeah, very illuminated sick. with fire. It's fucking rad. Uh, okay, so um, Vig is going to uh. Tell it a kind story. Spin around in a cloud of bats and pull out his microphone and begin singing their uh, their hit new song, Cry Crystal Blade. And uh, it strikes this beast directly between the eyes uh, as he you see, you see him pulse with unholy magic as he quickens a spell uh, and casts Mind Sliver. I would like this guy to make an intelligence saving throw, please. Okay. <clears throat> 22. 22? Yep. Crunch. Okay. He rolled a natural uh, 19 if it makes you feel better. Okay, yeah, this like uh this yeah, like barb of electric of kind of dark energy clangs off his forehead, his metallic skin. Uh and Vig kind of sees it and he goes right in. And he flips his mic over to the other side and starts to croon ever so slowly at this beast, kind of a wise nice. oh, oh, dragons in a cave underground. And uh, <laughs> I would like him to make a wisdom saving throw. Let's try oh. that smart guy. Oh my God, from a natural 19 to a natural one. Yes! <laughs> Incredible. How dare you, dice? Nobody can resist the crooning of Big Lux. This is the <laughs> Lux part. <laughs> um, uh, I've cast Slow on him. He is slowed. Okay. Slown. Uh, so, what is that? Uh... Well, I'll tell you. You alter time around up to six creatures of your choice in a 40-foot cube within range. This is just the one. Uh, there's no other creatures, right? Correct. Each target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be affected by this spell for the duration. An affected target's speed is halved. It takes a negative one penalty to AC and dexterity saving throws. It cannot okay. use reactions. Okay. On its turn, okay. it can use either an action or a bonus action. Never both. Okay. Re Regardless of the creature's abilities or magic items, it can't make more than one melee or ranged attack during its turn. Got it. If the creature attempts to cast a spell <laughs> with a casting time of one action, roll a d20 on an 11 or higher, the spell doesn't take effect until the creature's next turn. Okay. It's a lot. Wow. Slow as slow as fucking. That's, that's pretty insane. How is it? And I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep singing. I'm gonna be like, you guys can do it. Good job. And I'm gonna kind of tuck myself. Is this like a pillar? Uh, yes. Uh, all of these are, uh, all of these are pillars. These like, okay. circles. I'm gonna hide in this nook down here from any potential. Oh yeah, that's like a little cave. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. AOE blasts. Woof. All right. Um, so he uh, was trying to save up his legendary resistances and then got hit. So, I mean, he I, I definitely didn't say I was going to use it, so I'm not going to. But I will say on his next turn, he's definitely going to uh, shake that off using the legendary resistance. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Um, so... Uh, that will bring up, if that's Vig's turn, that'll bring up JJ. Well, gonna go up here, get my flanking advantage on. Do it. Al flanking. Yeah. That's what they call Al it. flanking. Uh, I'm gonna hit him with a scimitar of speed. Let's see, man. Try the advantage. So 27 for the first hit. Jesus. And then yeah, no, uh, the bonus hits 24. Absolutely, both hit. Get it, get it. Both hit, killer. Incredible. So that is going to be... 
one, two, four, what is that? 20, and then we're going to add, going to add 46 to that. Holy shit, really? 66 oh, points to the the 66, well, and then also <laughs> wow. a D8 on top of that. Good lord. Uh, <laughs> so that's uh, 72 damage. Cleric shit, holy fuck. That's oh so crazy. All right. That's the and all of it's necrotic. You just mod. see, there's it's just leaving these like sickening welts that uh, just like spread across its I love it. bronze body, corroding it. Incredible. Um. So you uh, you deal uh, all of this damage. How much of that is necrotic? Uh. Well, let's see. The it matters. It matters. The forty-six yep. and the six. So uh, a total of so fifty-two of that is necrotic. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, you notice as you inflict this necrotic damage, um, that, uh, the necrotic does not seem to do as much damage as- Oh, no! Oh, bummer. Well, it's okay. I can only do that once per long rest anyway, and it's been done. Well, it's still is it a, is it half or is it immune? It is, yeah. So the necrotic, instead of being fifty-two, is only twenty-six. Still, all right, bummer. Still, still bon- want bonkers it. damage. Still bonkers damage. Cool. Um, at the end of your turn, uh, he's going to use uh, one of his uh, one of his legendary actions, uh, and he's going to make a claw strike um, at you, JJ. That's a 24 to hit. That'll do it. And that is seven plus six, 12, 13, uh, 13 points of, uh, of slashing damage. All right. That becomes and then 10. that brings up relay. All right, he... Did he have... Wait, because of slow, did, does he have disadvantage or something, Jordan? Uh... No, right? He just can't take reactions. Target speed it's is all... halved. It takes negative two penalty to AC and dexterity saving throws. It can't use That's reactions. Fine. Yeah, it's not a reaction. It's a legendary action. So it's... On its turn, it can use I... either yeah. an action or a bonus action, not both. Yep, Regardless of creature's abilities, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, then yeah, relay is up. All right. Let's see if I'm pretty sure just attacking it a bunch is the best move here. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I mean, since I'm flanking, you, it cancels you out lose. that thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So you wouldn't have a uh, disadvantage. You would. It would just be a straight. Be a normal attack. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to use my flame sword of tongues twice on this beast. 26 to hit and a 10 to hit. Misses. All right, well, the damage for the one is something only you can see in D&D or roll 20. 15 to hit on that. And then I'm going to use a key point and do flurry of blows. Got it. Where's my where's my counter? There it is. And I do two unarmed attacks. Absolutely. 18 to hit. And a 19 to hit. 18 only hits because of the minus 2 to AC. Yes, I was hoping. 18 and 19 both hit. Nice. Alright. 29 damage altogether. Nice. Nice. 
Perfect. All right. And then, yeah, I think that's really it. I can't maneuver too much. I'll stay just in flanking with Nate. Yeah, might as well. All right. So, um, that brings up the, now, uh, on typical slow, do you roll to get out of it, Jordan? Creature affected by this spell makes another wisdom saving throw at the end of each of its turns. On a successful save, the effect ends for it. Okay, so he's going to try and get out. He fails, but he's going to use one of his legendary resistances to succeed anyway. Okay. Um, so he is now no longer slowed, um, but it is the end of his turn. So he has burned uh, a legendary resistance, but it is the end of his turn, which mm -hmm. then brings you up, sir. Okay. Um, Senior yeah. Vig. Got it out loud, Vig. <laughs> Um, let's see. <coughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Don't do it. They're all going to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. <laughs> They're all going to laugh at you. <laughs> They're all going to laugh at you. Fuck. What happened to my... I thought I had... Ah, uh, there we go. Um... Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I am going to use another two... CPs? Nope. SPs? Two SPs. Um, and do uh, another... Uh, try to do another um, mind sliver on them. Give me an intelligence saving throw, please. Okay. Intelligence? Mm -hmm. He rolled an 11. He's gonna. Tell me again. He's going to use another one of his legendary resistances to succeed, even though he failed. He okay. He has blocked my. Uh... I'm gonna burn the second one. He has blocked my cantrip, but now I am casting. Uh, I tell him a hilarious joke that only he can hear. I would like a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Skewer his society. Oh. Um, he'll burn his last legendary resistance. <laughs> can you do that? You succeed. Can I do two in one? Can you chant yeah, like I mean, that? You've done three on three, this turn. It says three per day. No, this will be two. It'll be two on this turn. Let me and see. One. Let's look it up. I mean, either way, you've done a hell of a job. Now he's literally, like, just yeah. good. I know, but they recharge every turn, right? No. Once no, per day. Legendary once per day. are once per day. Okay. Legendary actions refund uh, at the beginning of each of his turns. Okay. All right, that's the end of my turn. Um, legendary... What are legendary resistances? He fears the sliv. He fears it. He should. It's a fucking hell of a combo. Anyway, get Dark Tide, everyone. Yep. It's, um... <laughs> it's just a free action? Yeah, Dark Tide's a well, free action, an action if you pre-order. It's a resistance, and it's three per day. Um, so it doesn't... Yeah, th this yeah. ability activates when the creature fails a save of any kind. So because uh -huh. it was a save, even though one was sure, a Sure, uh, was a sure. Save each Okay, that's the end of my turn. I'm gonna duck back into my into an area that we're calling the Heroes Corner. <laughs> Only heroes in this corner. <laughs> okay. Um, the, 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 the the nook of bravery. 
All right, so that is going to bring up JJ. All right, it's time for him to make another saving throw. Wisdom 17. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but dragons are and wise. He rolls a three, of course. <laughs> Incredible. All right. <laughs> well, he is now oh, cursed. Oh, Why is Great. this one? Uh, while, while cursed, this target must make a wisdom saving throw at the start of each of its turn. If it fails, it wastes its action doing nothing. <laughs> Whoa, what is that it spell? Cannot curse? Bestow curse. It cannot wow, shake cool. it off. It lasts for eight hours no matter what. There's no way out of <laughs> this. This is every round. Is this a it's not and it's not like a charmed effect either, right? Nope. Like it is it's a curse. Wow. Okay. Great. Cool. Saved on the wrong <laughs> ones, guys. Alright. Um that and brings up. No, I'm still gonna use my bonus action. Oh to hit god, him. it's still going. <laughs> it's still For happening. 24 to hit. Good lord. 24 hits. Four. Whatever that is. For 10 plus half of one. So for 10. <laughs> Did you roll a one? I rolled a one and it was necrotic. Oh, so. <laughs> okay. Um, he's going to use a legendary so a great action turn. to strike at you again. Um, hey, by all means. That is <laughs> a 14 plus 12, 26 to hit. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. <laughs> um, oh my god, I rolled snake eyes on the 2d6. Wow. Uh, so, 8 points of slashing damage. <laughs> Right. I'm just taking that damage. Minus I'm just three. Very 36 poorly for left. this poor hollow dragon. I'm not um, even halfway and, there. And then that brings up Relay. All right, I'm going to... How big is this creature? Like, massive, massive? Can I grapple its arm? Mm. He's a huge creature. I think okay, there are, then I'm think jumping there are specific around rules it. about it. Then I'm uh, jumping yeah, on it, top if, of it. If it's if it's one size larger than you, you can attempt to grapple, but it has advantage, I think, on the spikes check. I'm just going to go uh, hop onto it. Okay. You're going to get on it? Actually, yep. try and jump on it? I'm yeah. leaping onto it, and I'm not trying to get on it. I'm more like stabbing my sword down twice on it. Mm. Okay, you're trying to jump on it and then attack it from there. Yep, yep. Get down on it. Oh. 17, I'm pretty sure misses. 17, uh, yes, it's not slow anymore, so that misses. But 20 hits. Absolutely. So, if you want to grab onto it and stay onto it, Roger, like if you want to sure. jump on, grab it, and then, and then attack it, uh, I will allow you to do that but I need uh, an acrobatics or athletics check. Oh for, yeah, of course. Like jump and grab. You're a acrobatics. monk. Acrobatics. Then that's a big deal. A 23 for acrobatics. I, I oh. jump onto it and I stab my sword down and with it sticking in there, I just hold on for the ride of the day. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, and so 17 damage on that hit. Yep. And then I'm gonna use a key point to do Fury of blows, and with my other hand, now just strike it twice in succession. Go ahead. I miss. Yes. I miss again. Miss. It's very slippery so, on top of this beast. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a giant bronze uh, dragon shell with fire animating it on the inside, so it's uh, it's it's hard to to get an eight a full eight seconds on. If that is your That's turn. my turn. Yeah, I'm holding on now. All right. So um, you're sort of holding on there, and, and this thing is, is getting very upset. Um, so it is going to... Oh, it's got to make a wisdom save first or do nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. Please, just roll well. Thank God. A 20? 19 plus 1? Yeah, that, that passes. It's going to still have to do it next turn. Oh, okay. So now, now <laughs> I can make a normal attack. Now that I've succeeded on the wisdom yes. throw once. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. 
Um, okay, so, uh, he's going to exhale, uh, his radiant breath, uh, a flame in a 60-foot cone. The only one he can get, uh, is JJ, so it's just gonna be JJ. You need to make a DC 19 deck save. So this ain't gonna go well. Could do. Oops. No, it is not. I rolled a well, five. Okay. Don't you have bardic um, inspiration? You can fail it with a no. higher score. <laughs> I used it for something earlier. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, uh, twenty-six, thirty-two. Thirty-two points of radiant damage. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um, oh shit. Uh, and. What is that? That's one. Uh, I'm not, I'm not slowed, right? So, like, if I have multiple actions, I can still take the other one, correct? Uh, yeah, you're not, yeah. Okay. You're so no then slowed. he's going to, um, reach back and try and bite Roger off of his back. Good lord. Yeah, um, come at me. Roger. You ever tried to bite your own back? A, a 18 to hit? He rolled really well. He's got a plus 12. That's sick. my armor class. Ugh. Um, so that hits. That's 2 d for some reason, that made me think of that Simpsons line. What's normal for him amazes <laughs> us. <laughs> 13, so 19 piercing damage. Oh, and I've been pierced. And five plus four and nine radiant damage. Oh, I glow on the inside. <laughs> um, and that is his turn. This thing is very um, Dark Souls, very Bloodborne. Yeah, it's, it's like a awesome. ho- an undead, like holy dragon. The uh, the lore behind the Hollow Dragons is really cool too. They're yeah. speci- they were like specifically made to protect extremely important. That's weird. And other things like that always freaks me out when of... it's like it's like we're we're a force for good and this stuff can never fall into the wrong hands so we made these abominations <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> let's hope they never get released on the mass populace yeah, yeah. i'm yeah. sure it could never backfire yup all right i am cut with that one like you see a piercing hole through me light up with radiant light good lord and i go i'm okay <laughs> are you uh, <laughs> yeah, I uh, don't think he's ever okay. Um, it is Vig's turn. Look at him, he's munted. I re- I'm still I recently holding became, on. became uh, acquainted with the word munted, and I like it. Oh, I was totally munted last weekend, anyway. Um, I am going to hmm, fucking what you think and spreading the truth, you know, Spread, spreading the gospel through song. I think I know what's going to happen right now. Uh, OK, so well, I think I'm ready to join your religion. Vig is going to um, what do I have? Let's see. I was thinking about joining yours in this time of desperation. <laughs> five, five. Do you want a high 15, five? God swap. It's high five. God 15, swap. Fifteen to get to there, and then I am going to clip him with a cone of cold. I once again sing a, an icy dirge and. Ice bats flap out of my horn, and uh, he's gonna need to make a constitution saving throw. 
But he's a big boy. They always have high constitution. They can fail. Oh, yeah. It's a 20 total. Not this time, but they could. <laughs> they can. Uh, and I am going to give... Uh, I'm going to give Bardic Inspiration to who's next? Me. JJ. 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 You have Bardic Inspiration. Great. Uh, That'll bring up JJ. So I need JJ. to... I need to escape. Mm-hmm. Uh... So the disengage is disengage is an action, right? Yes, it is. But I don't. I think only a rogue can. No, you can disengage. Oh no, no, no! You can disengage, but it's your action. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just, I just don't. I just can't take an attack of opportunity as I run away, uh, or I may die doing so. Right. Right. Um. So I would like to do that, and then I need to travel twenty-five. Is this up here? Is that like a rock that I can get behind? Yes, there's a rock right there that you could absolutely get behind. That's what I would like to do. You can do it, really. And, <laughs> and that is all that Fuck I shit. can do. You, you can um. Uh, bonus take, action uh, heal something yeah, maybe. Yeah, you can take a potion um, or as a bonus action. Uh, I don't think or, we have or, any potions. I do. I have two whole potions of like greater healing. But JJ, uh, don't you have a an actual spell that's a bonus action heal? Uh, I can't use it on myself. Healing oh. word? Yeah, you can. Oh, you can? Absolutely. Oh, cre- that you can. See- all right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Just look down all at your right. feet. I whip out, or I get. I guess I just polish off a piece of my armor and look back at myself. Picture I can see. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. That's All the right. ticket. Heal four. Eighteen. 18. Fuck yeah! Wow. That was a good healing ass. Okay. Jeez, yeah, I was down to. Real. I was down to four. Wow. Whoa. Nice job. Yeah, I'm not doing great. I'm. I'm bleeding out. No, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's what I got yeah, going on. I mean, Peter hurt, that's for sure. Okay, all right. Uh, that brings up relay. All right, how many key points can I use in a turn? Uh, I mean, as many as you're allowed, right? So if you do, if you do your attack and then key point flurry of blows, I think that's it. Um, I don't. I I said that wrong anyway. I misread it. I'm gonna key point step of the wind. Okay. I'm gonna slash it twice. As I leap off of it, that's a crit. Oh, perfect. Fuck okay, yeah. so you're gonna yeah. you're gonna hit him twice and then step of the wind. I get it. Yep. Yeah. Um. Okay, so 28 definitely hits on the crit. A 13, 13 misses. Go ahead and roll the crit damage. Crit damage. A 40 which damage total. Doesn't Holy translate. Uh, it'd be 40. Yeah. You double it. Yeah, 40 total. Yep. That's big. And then I leap off of the dragon using the disengage as my bonus action. Absolutely. And I right. hide. Oh. Over here. Nice, <laughs> nice use of step of the wind. That's real yeah. good. You Definitely, got this yeah. big. <laughs> All right, is that your turn? That's my turn. All right. Uh, he's going to roll to see if he gets his radiant breath back, which he does not. He rolled a four. Um, he's so, got He's got to he save the curse. With sapping presence. Um well, he's gotta roll uh he's gotta roll the wisdom save for the curse before he does anything. Oh, Sixteen plus one seventeen. It is exactly seventeen to save. Crap. Um okay. 
Uh, so he saves, and he's going to use all three of his actions, uh, and he's going to do booming scales. A sudden loud ringing noise painfully uh -oh. intense erupts from the hollow dragon's frame. Each creature... No, he's not, because nobody's within 10 feet of him. God damn it. Oh, incredible. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, shit. All right, well, then... Yeah, he is going to fly over and try and attack Vig. You um, got this, Vig. JJ's behind a thing. Relay moved oh, away, boy. so... You get a bite attack and a claw attack, sir. Uh, um... The first one is a 16 plus 12. Yeah, it hits. 28 to hit. Yeah. And then the second one is an 8 plus 12, so a 20 to hit. They both hit. We should probably invest in some armor after this. The first one <laughs> does... Oh, that's a 1. You're lucky. 5, 6 plus 6. 12 piercing damage and another fucking one uh and a seven eight radiant damage so 20 damage on the first one ah! the second one is a claw it's just 2d6 plus six that's seven plus six so 13 damage on the second one vig is knocked unconscious ah! you got this vig wake up no, no response uh... Okay. That is the end of the creature's turn, and it is now Vig's turn. Jordan, I need you to roll a death saving throw for me, please. Coming up! Oh, Relay wait is... Wait a minute. Relay hears what's happening out there, and he thinks back to the teachings of Bahamut and realizes that he has to save his friend. Um, was this, uh, radiant damage? Um, there was, was some radiant damage, yes, absolutely. Was the last attack a radiant damage? No, part of it. part of the first attack was radiant damage, so... Okay, so, uh, when damage... Eight. When damage that isn't radiant or from a critical hit reduces you to zero HP, you can make a charisma saving throw, DC 5 plus the damage taken on a success... You instead drop to one HP. HP. Fuck yeah, roll that shit, dude. Ooh, my charisma's pretty good. So what was it that brought me low? 12, 12 damage? Uh, the, you mean the one that took you out, the last one was 2d6 plus 6? Yeah, so it was 12. Was it, I think it was 9? What was it? I no, it was I had... 12, because it was 2, okay. 7... Oh, it was 13. Because I rolled a three and a four, um, okay. and then plus six, so it was thirteen. Okay, I have saved against Holy that. Shit. Right. So yeah, you so see Vic die, dead. and instead wow. of dying, it's like uh, he, his body is lifted back up by. I'm too cool to die. <laughs> by bats, and the what? bats put uh, the bats put a cigarette in his mouth and light it and fly away. Fucking amazing. And he takes a drag. They got so sad, bitch. <laughs> wow. Um, all right. Uh, Vig, it is and now. And now it is my turn. Your turn <laughs> oh, wow. One hit point. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, okay. Disengage. Um, misty right step. Shit, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to misty step the fuck out of there. <laughs> But I'm actually wondering if there's maybe any a better way to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna misty step. Beep. There it is. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, JJ? We just leave. Thirty feet away. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's almost dead. I don't think it is. Cowards. Uh, bamf! I bamf there, and I flap, flap, flap the rest of the way to over here. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna hide behind this pillar. Partial okay. cover, I guess. 
Uh, and I'm gonna look back at this guy and be like, "Your dick, your dick." <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm gonna cast uh, Chill Touch on him. Okay. That's 19 to hit. That's his AC exactly. Great. Uh, he takes six damage from clawing shadowy hands that reach up from the ground. All right, but it's necrotic. Yep. Oh, it is necrotic. He, so he takes three damage. Yeah. Uh. All right. It's now JJ's turn. Uh, so dash is double move, right? Mm-hmm. Correct. Use action to move, and then you still have your movement. Okay. And then <laughs> let's go ahead and throw my next highest healing word at Vig. It's going to be for 17 health. Amazing. Vig. Huge help. Yeah, some of his wounds like knit together and shit. Rocks. All right. Now relay's turn. All right. I sense the the direction of this battle, and where my <laughs> friends are going, and I'm going to. Oh shit! Run away as well. Ten feet. Uh, let's try not to clump together too much in case he gets his breath weapon back. I need a heal. That's what's keeping me from doing damage right now. Oh, uh, well, if you swing my direction, I can cure you on the next turn. Yeah, we're just going to do that. I'm going to move my 45 feet and get partial cover behind a pillar. Okay. Well, get, uh, get right next to me because it's a touch. Movement. Okay. It's a touch heal. And then I uh, I throw two darts at this two gentleman. Darts. Throw them darts. I pull two what seem to be normal darts from my belt, and they start to glow with magical energies, and I toss them. For a miss. And then... Let's try it on my other character sheet. The second one's the double miss. <laughs> I throw them, but they get blocked by the pillars in the way, and I go, oh, next time. And I bonus action, uh, I don't know, man, eating some rations. I mean, you can bonus action take a healing potion if you have one. I don't. I have rations. That's the closest thing I got. I drink from some my water leather. skin. Okay. You can also uh, do patient defense, which means you spend a key point and uh, yeah, he has that is what I want to do. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, we'll do that. You dodge on your. Uh, you dodge on that. It's like a reaction. Yep. If he tries. Okay. So is that your turn? That's it. All right. Let's see that curse finally work. Come on. Uh, uh, and it did. Fuck uh, yeah. He <laughs> rolled it up. Uh, so he now, what does that mean? He can't, he can't move. No, he, he does just... nothing. Does nothing for this turn. He does nothing for this turn. He just has to sit. Yep. Wastes the entire turn. Fucking blows. Okay. And what is it? What type of save is it? Uh, it's a wisdom. Yeah, he has a plus seven for wisdom saving throws too, but it doesn't matter. He rolled a six, so even even plus seven is thirteen. Oh, god. Okay. Uh, that's his turn. That brings up Vig. Okay. Give me just one second here. All right, go through your spells. Find the perfect song. 
hollow dragon is just like you see him he 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 like goes to get up goes to like move his wings and then this curse just fits in and he, he kind of like it, he almost like glitches out where like you can see the flames sort of like die a little bit inside of him and he's not able to like move and move over just sort of looks up uh and and is confused at why he can't do anything and, and also looks a little hurt yeah no i i mean i i i envision it as being uh like it manifests as immediate bipolar disorder and he's just like <laughs> this is the turn where he can't get out of bed it's just yeah. just not happening um okay <sighs> Uh, Vig once again launches these icy bats. I would like this guy to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, no. No. Even even with a plus 11 on a con save, he rolled a 2. So, 13. Yes! Fuck yes! Okay, incredible. Um, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, I'm going to maybe make this an empowered spell. But, um, yeah, I might have to roll. So this is uh, 8d8 cold damage. I don't know if that matters. Does not have immunity or resistances to cold. Okay, so let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four. Son of a bitch. See, that's the problem is I don't know how to do these things. Okay. Get a calculator. Well, uh, here, well I can, you can you can roll it on D twenty or on D. I know, but the problem is it just goes away really quickly. So okay, so let's say, um, eight. So clunk a chunk a clunk. So chunk a chunk a chunk. Three, four. I'm gonna re-roll four of those. One, three, six. Seven, eight, nine damage. So 27 minus nine is 18. So 18 plus six. Nice, off to a good start. Uh, so that's 24. Five from six, 27. Okay, we're back up to 27. No, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Plus four. 31. 31. Nice. Plus one. 32. Right. So 32, 32 cold. cold damage. Um, let me make sure. Let me just check how empowered spell works. Um, when you one sorcery point to reroll up to four, you must use you must use the new rolls, and you can use this option. Blah blah blah. Okay, so 32, uh, 32 total cold damage, Colin, and he's gonna total cold damage. Yeah. Uh, as uh, as you release the spell, uh, I just took a picture of it that uh, I will post to all of you. Uh, this hollow dragon had 31 hit points left. So <laughs> oh, shit. How your cold spell uh, extinguishes the fire of this hollow dragon. Yeah, it's just these, <laughs> like I say, these like icy bats from him like singing and he kind of puts a hand into it and more of them double up and they kind of <laughs> and eventually as you can see them flittering past it, you see it kind of start to go into this hollow dragon's eyes and the cracks in its carapace, and it, they start to one by one take these cinders within it with them, and they take all the flame out of it and just put it out until it's this steaming metal husk. Amazing. Yeah, and uh, as as they all come in and, and the fire starts to die down um, and the bats start to move, uh, the three of you uh, approach um, this crazy shell of this hollow dragon uh, and you notice that the body, it, it breaks into nine solid pieces. So there are two arms, Whoa. two legs, two Whoa. wings, a torso, and a head. Uh, wow. Each piece is considered a large object. Um, uh, the bag of holding. Yeah. 
You are now <laughs> among uh, nine pieces. Uh, what of did one. I tell you? A hollow the, drag. The moment would become apparent. <laughs> you did. Um, also, incredible. Jordan, uh, make uh, a uh, make a perception check. Okay. Uh, that's, oh, I get advantage on perception. That's 15. Nice, 15. With a 15, uh, your, your sword begins to glow again. Like, oh. it, it, glowing the entire time, I'm sorry, sword, the, the crystal, the uh, blade, blade, yes. blade uh, yeah, that you put in the sheath begins to glow again. The, uh, there's nothing on top of it, right? There's no hilt, so it just seems to be this, like, ray of light that's like exuding from uh, behind you uh, and as you're turning around there there seems to be another like ray from like this back wall that like the the it's try the ray of light is almost trying to get itself to this back wall okay yeah I, uh, I pull it out and I'm like Whoa, what's happening and I let it kind of lead us across um, also, what up, Bon? Also, D and D rules. I, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I just like to say that was a that was a very heroic moment for me. Ah, uh, yeah, I love this game so much. Um, I t- I, mean, I took the picture of the thirty one hit points because I was yeah like, crazy. Uh, it said twenty seven, and I was like, oh, you just missed it. And it was one were, of those like, yeah. rolling again. You got to thirty two, and I was just like, uh, this game. <laughs> No one's gonna believe me. That's the this thing. Is it's like every what? once in a while, the shit lines up where you're like, you're like, do I do I hide and try to survive? Or do I fucking risk it all for the big spell? Well, I mean, I have to say, he he makes that last wisdom save, and you all three of you are in trouble. I mean, he has yeah. he has multiple actions that he can do, and all of you yeah. are close to hit points. I mean, he could have absolutely taken two of you yeah. down. Uh, I, if he doesn't make I that was way. thinking in my way. head I was like I think he might be more hurt than we know and uh I did I, mean, I wasn't over 200 hit points too and you got it was those initial you guys I, crushed him in the beginning I was fairly sure that if, if, if it wasn't me it was going to be one of these guys that we could scrub him yeah Ooh. I like that the last the last hit die was a one also it's just like insult to injury <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> just one a little one more extra. one final bat just uh, a sprinkling of salt in the wound <laughs> yeah one final bat just pisses on the corpse <laughs> and takes off into the night <laughs> uh yeah so jordan you have um the there's like a glowing almost it, it almost looks like you could put the blade into the into the wall over here i do so i did just that so, I think we should um, rest before you start sticking things in the walls. All <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll uh, to try and, and to resist. resist it, um, in you you can sort of see uh, the light meets it, uh, and it's almost like the stone moves away. Uh, like it, it it's like. It's like it moves off. Uh, what's a great example? Oh, uh, in Black Panther, when uh, they have the vibranium uh, and he like touches it, and all of the like dirt vibrates off of it, and you can see the like true of the vibranium. It's the uh, same yeah. thing. All of the dirt like uh, vibrates off of mm-hmm. this hilt that sort of grows from the rock and grabs the his the crystal blade uh and also right here uh there this this area that has the crystal blade uh it rocks begin to sort of fall away uh and move away and next in in the stone um next to this crystal blade um is also a uh hold on just a second a poster of <laughs> Of our uh, last it's, show. Uh, yeah. It's, <laughs> Wait, it's come oh, anime Sabo. dead this guy. What was it? It's a longbow, um, but this longbow, uh, the limb tips of this magic bow are shaped like dragon wings, and the weapon uh, is infused with the essence of a chromatic gem or metallic dragon. It's infused with the essence of a, of a copper dragon. Um, Whoa. 
this uh when you hit with an attack roll using this magic bow the target takes an extra 1d6 damage of the same type as the breath infused which would be lightning um if you load no ammunition into this weapon it produces its own automatically creating one piece of magic ammunition when you pull back the string the what? ammunition by the bow vanishes an in instant after it hits or misses a target so you don't need Wild. to buy arrows for this yeah, dude it's dragon. like a it's like the uh, the elf from the old Dungeons and Dragons cartoon show. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, what a fucking pull. A bow. Um, I will actually. Eric? Uh... No, Eric was the name of the like. Shitty the, I think paladin. it was the Cavalier. Yeah. Yes, the Cavalier. Boy, what a fucking weird show that was. <laughs> and they had like a pet unicorn that was just like. Mandy <laughs> Uni. <laughs> Yeah, oh, there's that. Wow. that Those are the only the... two names I'd be able to pull. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Also, um, next to the uh, the crystal blade um, in is also a lance. Um, wow. A dragon lance. Whoa. Um, this dragon lance. Uh, is a renowned weapon forged from rare metal with the aid of powerful artifacts uh, associated with Bahamut. Different lances are forged for use by foot soldiers as pikes and by riders as lances, uh, but the magical properties are, are of the weapons are the same. So you can uh, choose for this to be a pike or a lance based on, on who uh, takes Interesting. it. Interesting. Um, you gain a plus three bonus to attack uh, and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. When you hit a dragon, uh, any dragon takes an extra three d6 force damage. Um, uh, and any dragon of your choice that you can see within 30 feet of you can immediately use its reaction to make a melee attack. That's fucking crackers, that is. That's pretty, pretty, huh? um, pretty, the, pretty good. The uh, last uh, magical weapon... Uh, Lord. that is available to the three of you is the crystal blade um it is called exactly that crystal blade okay uh this magic swords blade is fashioned from a horn or spine of a crystal dragon it is the horn of a crystal dragon when you hit with an attack roll using the sword the target takes an extra 1d8 radiant damage this sword also has three charges and regains 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. When you hit a creature with an attack roll using the sword, you expend one charge to regain a number of hit points equal to the extra radiant damage that the sword dealt. If you're holding the sword, you can also use a bonus action to cause it to shed a bright light in a 30-foot radius and dim light for an additional 30 feet. Wow, cool. Um, I will put all three of those uh, magical dragon items... Uh, in the chat, uh, and the three of you can sort of decide. I actually Do think uh, JJ, uh, I, I know for sure Relay can't use the bow. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I know JJ is proficient with bows, so JJ could definitely use it. Um, yeah, but I mean, I, you, like, I guess ah, my games. dex isn't too bad, but. Yeah, but I'll put I was those in there. my dex stuff, but um, yeah, that'll be fine. I mean,. I'd, far be it from me to decide how we how we um, divvy this up, but I was thinking uh, Crystal Sword could be kind of the twin to your Flame Sword, Roger. I was thinking of, of having another child sword, yes. <laughs> another sword child. It is a martial weapon, so that would work for sure. And then honestly, whichever one you want, Nate, if it's not that sword, and then I'll just take whatever's left over. Uh, I mean, the uh... lance... Can you use the lance? I mean, what's what's your what's your dex? Uh, my dex is decent, but honestly, I'm not using many weapons. It would be more just to have. Right. <laughs> well, you I mean, burned kinda... it, friend. My dex is plus two, so if you want, if you want uh, the bow, I could. Mine's also plus two, so yeah. I mean, we'd both be equally efficient with it. I'm old if charisma, we were baby. Using it. Puff the magical dragon items, exactly. Uh, I don't know, whatever, I don't care. I, I don't see myself using either of those weapons. Really? Yeah. Okay. I um, mean, maybe the lance when we encounter dragons, whip it out to 
Sure. Why don't you, know, you take the lance and I'll take the bow? That. Maybe right. we can maybe we can take them and trade them for magical items of our choice. Who knows? These seem to be pretty fancy. I mean, these seem these would have religious significance here, probably. The yeah, staff no, I mean the, or the sword. Nope. The lance. It seems likely that the does. dragon lance is going to be uh, important to the quest. Yeah. So we should sell it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. No, I can I see if I recognize that based on what you said because it is an item of Bahamut. To where like I might know um, what, what this the question, what the, Do I know what staff this is from my religion? Um no, I mean the the dragon if I did a religion sort of, roll. Uh, like is a it a rare is it item a, that was that was spoken about? Um obviously there were, you know, two other uh, that were that were with it and and this particular uh, metallic dragon you would know that like hollow dragons are actually ex metallic dragons um, mm. that were sort of bent uh, oh, on, yeah unlike dragons who explore the magic of undeath for power some metallic dragons seek undeath as a means to pursue a noble purpose for the sake of protecting an artifact or fulfilling an oath <laughs> I was like I said. Form. <laughs> into a hollow dragon accepting undeath until that pur that purpose is fulfilled um so uh, th this i mean it could be this city was created hundreds and hundreds of years ago so at any this point city. in that time you know this uh, this particular artifact could have been hidden and protected by this hollow dragon so well i guess um, what i'm asking is based on what i see versus what i've had described to me in, in bahamut school would I know if this was like the Spear of Longinus? <laughs> yeah, but uh, it is not. It, it is not necessarily uh, associated. It, I mean, it is obviously uh, associated with dragons, but it's not associated directly with Bach. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Well, this staff is still pretty cool. I think we should keep it. It's pretty uh, top 10, mate. Let's all nice. take it. I'll find something to do with it. <laughs> Yeah. I'll, I'll take this well, bow. So we put the body parts in the bag of holding. The body parts in the Can bag. Can we do that? Now, I listen. Each one is considered a large object. I'm not sure what. But let's let's look, look it up. up. Let's look up the text in <laughs> the bag of holding, shall we? As far as I know, you can do whatever you want. You can take a man's head. You can do whatever you yeah, want. But that's not. But that's not. Okay. okay. Uh, uh... <laughs> the bag has an interior space considerably larger than the outside dimensions. Roughly two feet in diameter at the mouth and four feet deep, the bag can hold up to 500 pounds. So, four feet deep. Yeah. This you, is way more would, than that. You would not be able to take all nine pieces of. Should it. we I mean, animate again, the dead? Huge uh, I don't. I don't think animate dead would work. Because it's not uh, like it's, dead. It's gotta be a. It's gotta be a humanoid or an animal. This is a humanoid. Um. <laughs> look. I don't, look I don't together, want right? to get into this conversation again. <laughs> um. Um. Well. Uh, so what is what constitutes a large item? Is that like a washer? Uh, okay. A dryer. So, yeah. It's it's like yeah, it's like the size of a refrigerator or some shit, right? Yeah. Right, I don't think like we can a take large any of this. would be Guiguo, right? So like Guiguo is like a large. So each each uh, one of these yes. is like the size of an entire large. All right. Well, I'm disappointed in the rules of bag of holding now. I think that's bullshit, <laughs> and you will be getting a letter. <laughs> don't send it to me, dude. Gary Gygax. Oh, not not you. Let's I know who to yeah, send it to. Gary of Gygax. <laughs> Gary of Gygax here. Your game's been ruined, Gygax. All right, look, what if we, if we had to take one bit, what would it be? The head, the right? Head. Obviously. All right, yeah, so, probably. uh... But I mean, we'd also have to, like, all carry it together. No, we could right. stuff it in this bag. Probably, probably get it in the bag. But, like, one, maybe two. We could take a leg. There's wings. There's wings. A wing might be cool. If we could take a head, a leg, and a wing. <laughs> then we'd I almost have a KFC $5 button. <laughs> I, I 
I think you'd be able to fit one of these into the bag of holding, right? Like, All right, the head bag. The head. Take the head. And then do we yeah, want to carry another body part, two of us? No. That's what I'm thinking. I'm, 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 good. <laughs> I'm good for it, Rely. All right, let's do this. All right, let's grab all right, all right. A, a, the torso. Wait, is there furthermore, is there more to this dungeon? He's no, this is the, the last guy. Spot. Excuse me, dungeon master. Well, uh, <laughs> um, we could no. have followed the so, river uh, up, but right now I think we should head out with our spoils and rest. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Where, where, yeah, where you entered is is sort of your only option at this point. Yeah, Besides, well, uh, like following the river, which is a very small cave system that doesn't look like anything. So me and Relay are gonna lug. What is it gonna be, Relay? Uh, uh, the uh, tail. Uh, ooh, that'd be fun. I'll grab one, and I have a good strength. Or okay. unless I, I guess I could be leading us out also. So uh, yeah, why don't you go up to 500 pounds and not exceeding a volume of 64 cubic feet? So I'm gonna say you can get two of the things. In okay, the great. If you How about a head and a, and a wing? Then, then like you, that's you can you can get a head and a wing. Okay, we'll do. How about a head and a wing, and then All we'll right. carry the tail, Raj. Okay, let's do this. Wing and carry the tail. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think with that, I critted on my athletics, end. so I'm doing all the work, and I don't mind. <laughs> nice. We will end our episode uh, right there for the evening. All right, what an episode, folks! Thank you so much for Please joining try. us. Yeah. Great to see you. Cheese bought a doom. Bond from that. Ducking in there. Great to see y'all. Be cooler if you marched out with the head held high. (laughs) Yeah, but you see, (laughs) this is the thing. This whole place, they kind of worship dragons, so we don't want to. It's like going to the Vatican and. It's like it marching like out with the head of a, a fish of dragon. <laughs> Slaying a pope zombie and then coming out and being like, We did it! With the pope <laughs> zombie's head. Uh, so we'll see. Ready your white that. smoke. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, our sign off line Shine me down. Shine me down, you crazy clown. clown. You, you, you big old, big old, old dripping hog.